What's good, y'all? Maker Manager checking in here for another deity discussion. So for today, we're going to be talking about when we should take our protein in and also the difference between protein blends, whey protein isolate, and caseinate. All right. So first off, when should we take our protein? I personally have my own beliefs on that. And like I said, this is my channel, this is my opinion, you can do what you want. So I personally believe that the most critical times to take your protein supplement or to at least get protein into your body is in the morning time when you first wake up because your body has been in a fasted state and it needs that spike in uh, muscle protein synthesis, okay? So that you're not breaking down your muscle. It's all about creating an anabolic environment, okay? And, uh, and it starts when you wake up and you continue it until you finish eating for that day, all right? So the next time I feel like you should take it is pre-workout. So what this is going to do, number one, it's going to trigger muscle protein synthesis uh, before you go to the gym. Number two, it's going to protect your muscle from breakdown. And number three, it's also going to give you some energy during the workout so that you can push a little bit harder, all right? And post-workout, I feel like you should get uh, some protein in again to help bolster recovery and spike protein synthesis again, all right? And the next one is kind of a, a personal preference. I like to take one at, with my last meal of the day. Now, what kind of protein should you be taking? Me, personally, I prefer protein blends. I've gotten a lot better results from taking blends versus just taking concentrate or isolate in the past. So a protein blend pretty much has a fast digesting uh, whey protein isolate, a medium digesting protein, usually it's uh, egg albumin, and number three, it has some type of casein in it, okay? And that's the slow digesting protein. So what this is gonna do is, it's gonna cause that spike from the isolate and the medium and the slow digesting proteins are gonna keep the muscle protein synthesis, um, keep it spiked for a longer period of time. So they usually say that it lasts about six to eight hours. So it keeps protein synthesis elevated for that long. When you take in a protein isolate, what it's gonna do is it's gonna get a, a really, really high spike right when you take it. And then within 30 minutes, it starts to dip down really fast, okay? So that is kind of the advantage and disadvantage of it. That's why I feel like you should take that post-workout. That's something I've been doing lately. I've probably been doing it for about a month and it makes me feel a lot better and I feel like that's the best way to do it. And then there's also casein protein and that is just a slow digesting protein where it doesn't give you that huge spike like the blend or like the whey isolate really does. But it gives you consistent uh, protein synthesis over the course of six to eight hours, okay? So that's really the difference between the three. It's going to come down to personal preference and what you really believe in. But what I found is that I prefer protein blends and I like a good isolate uh, post-workout. Okay. So that is the difference between the three, those three kinds of proteins and also when you should take the protein. All right. So if you got any questions about that, hit the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video. Click the subscribe button, and I'm going to holler at y'all. Make a man job.